Okay, let's talk about how you take pictures on your iPad. Now, there are some things you should know. This, this is a little bit more basic video, but I believe there are some tips for everyone. So let's get started. Now, obviously you need to locate the camera app on your device, which is supposed to be somewhere on the home screen. If not, just go to the app library all the way on the right and just look for it there. Now, inside you'll notice that it functions similarly to the camera on your iPhone or other smartphones. I mean, obviously, if you're trying to figure out if you should get the iPad for how it works, I mean, if you have an iPhone already, you're going to know exactly how to operate it. Even though there are some third-party camera apps available, such as the Pro Camera app, or I don't even know, like the Filmic Pro, I believe, is available. I mean, the built-in camera on your iPad is quite sufficient for most users, so unless you really need it, I don't think you should get one from the App Store, just use the built-in one. Okay, so one handy tip for taking pictures is to use the, the volume up button as a shutter release, right? This can be especially useful if you're trying to hold the iPad steady with both hands. So you don't have to tap on the screen on the actual software shutter button, you use the volume buttons. Another great feature is the burst mode, which captures a series of photos in a quick succession. This is ideal for action shots or any scene where there's a lot of movement and you just don't want to make sure, I mean, you want to like make sure that the iPad takes the perfect image because you can pick from them later. Now, don't forget to make sure the iPads or use the iPads autofocus, which helps you to ensure your photos don't really, you don't really need to mess around with the focus too much. A lot of times it does a great job on its own. Now, despite these helpful features, you might encounter some challenges such as managing lighting and dealing with no noise in your photos. Just like with every camera and every device which takes photos, poor lighting can lead to grainy images, but you can address these issues in post-production. You can use many photo editing apps. The built-in photos app has some options, but I, for example, use Lightroom, so that's an option as well. Additionally, if you feel like, yeah, I already have my DSLR or some kind of camera, it is possible to use your iPad as a viewfinder or a monitor for your camera. So if you have like a Sony or Canon app, perhaps Panasonic, try looking up that app on the App Store and perhaps you're gonna be able to connect your camera to your iPad, which can be used as the, the viewfinder. So you're gonna get like a larger screen to frame your shots better and ensure everything is in focus. So that's, this could be an option as well. Thank you for watching this video on how you can take pictures with your iPad. If you found this guide helpful, leave a thumbs up, subscribe below, and I'll catch you in the future.